Hello, welcome back. Last week, I showed you our unboxing of all of our chrysalis. Here is what happened to them. I glued them all on these rods and I just let them do their thing. I have a special device that I can hold these rods on and I have a glue gun that will be on glow and I will very carefully glue them to the rods. When I'm gluing, I'm conscious of this is a small species. I can do maybe 20 chrysalis on this one. This is a much bigger species. I can probably only do 10. It's almost like he knows. I'm saying he, obviously I don't know the sex of these butterflies until they emerge. So <laughs> the zebras are alive and well and they're wiggling just a little bit. And I'm not hurting the butterfly by doing this. They can definitely feel temperature. I'm not even squeezing, really. I'm barely gripping them. I'm just gripping them enough so that I can hold them. I think this one like felt me push it up. So they're like, oh, hey. I wanna put it right at the cremaster, which is where their natural silk is. And obviously the glue is replacing what their really powerful silk would be. I do just kind of keep my eye out just for a moment so we don't have any bungee jumping pupa. <laughs> and you just want to be really gentle. I don't want to like struggle against it. I don't want to like hold on to it if it's wiggling. I'm just going to put my hand and just below it so if it doesn't fall, I think you just kind of relax. We don't have any today, but I think about red admirals, they're really like jittery, they're just like, they shake, they're really sensitive. Julia's and Zebra's tend to be okay. This one's pretty cool, it still has a little bit of its caterpillar part on it. Thank you. 